Ryan here, North Fork Realty. Believe it or not, we're coming to you with another great weekly update. Yes, I'm still sporting a beard. Santa Claus is coming out. We're going to have a terrific holiday season. Can you believe it's almost November already? It's amazing. Now, normally, you know, into the fall, people think it's not a good time to sell, uh, buy or sell real estate. Not so much. The market's screaming hot, and we're going to talk all about that in a second. Before I do, I want to thank everyone to come to our Fall Harvest Party 2020. It was amazing. We had a terrific time. We had a wonderful turnout, uh, wonderful support. So thank you, thank you, thank you if you made it to that. We will be having other events. We're trying to debate whether we're going to have the doggone uh, uh, wreath-making party or not. That's always been a big success and a big hit. But I don't know if we get together and make a wreath-making party or we have small groups gather. Let me know what you think about that. Now, back to the big questions of the day. Everyone's asking, how's the market? What's going on with the market? Well, crazy things are going on with the market. You know, I'm not going to give you boring stats. I'm going to tell you inventory remains very, very historically low. Interest rates remain even lower. And such, the housing market's hotter than heck. Builders quit building a while back. It's caused a shortage of inventory. We have, we don't have houses. We've got... We got people leaving city. Uh, apparently, if you burn your downtown area, you protest every day and you allow people to go to the bathroom on the sidewalk, they don't feel safe. They don't like it. Didn't know that. Shocker. Newsflash. So apparently they're moving to uh, our towns. They're moving to the rural areas. They're moving to the, to the rural communities. We're watching an explosion of people moving to the rural communities. So, hey, housing's good. Housing's good. Uh, should you buy a home right now in today's market? People are asking me that. Listen, I'm buying one, I'm closing on one uh, next week. It's an investment property. I offered the guy full price. Truthfully, I offered him full price and just said, I'll pay you what you want. And uh, with a historic low interest rate, a 3.5 is what I got on an investment property, which is amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, it saved me like $150 a month in payment if it would have been uh, four and a half, five. If it was 5%, I saved $150 a month. So yes, I bought it. So that's awesome. So should you buy one? Yeah, because your, your money goes further, your buying power is greater, and this thing's not gonna get changed for the next couple of years. I don't see it changing for a couple of years. If you wanna buy a home, I would say go buy a home now. Uh, find the right one and buy one. Find a great realtor, I can hook you up with them. We got 10 of them in this office, they're amazing. So anyways, hey, will COVID change our market? Well, COVID has changed our market. It's actually made it better. People wanna get out of the urban areas or coming down here. So listen, I, <laughs> COVID's here. I don't know what to do about it. Let's just keep on living. How about that? Let's keep on living. Uh, benefits of accepting cash offers is you don't have to worry about appraisals. You don't have to worry about all the other stuff. You know the money's secure. Now, ultimately, at the end of the day, a financed offer can be almost as good as a cash offer if it's more money. But if you're worried about appraisal, cash offer is the way to go. Now, listen, we have a lot more great information for you. If you need help, you come on down to North Fork Realty. Where we're true Americans. We love you. We love taking care of you. We love doing all the good things with you and having fun with you. And we'll give you the best world-class advice we can possibly give. Hey, Facebook poke out. See you next week.